Face to face at the G20, Rishi Sunak is said to have vented serious concerns to the Chinese Premier, bringing up allegations of a spy in Westminster at the start of their 20-minute meeting. I range a range, a range of different concerns that we have in areas of disagreement, and in particular, my very strong concerns about any interference in our parliamentary democracy, which is obviously unacceptable. And how did that go down? Well, as I said, we discussed a range of things, and I raised areas where there are disagreements, and this is just part of our strategy to protect ourselves, to protect our values and our interests. It's here that one of the two men arrested under the Official Secrets Act is understood to have worked as a researcher, holding a parliamentary pass allowing him to forge connections with MPs. He had links to Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Alicia Cairns and the now Security Minister Tom Tugendhat, although these are said to have ended prior to him entering office. Former military intelligence officer Philip Ingram believes Chinese authorities attempted to recruit him six years ago and says this latest development isn't a surprise. If you're an influencer, you're a target, and everyone that's in Parliament is an influencer. They'll have sensitive information because um, they will have opinions on who supports government policy, who doesn't support government policy, and what makes other people on those committees and, and groups think, what makes them tick. It was only last year that MI5 said UK-based lawyer Christine Lee had tried to interfere in UK politics for Beijing. While the government certainly sees China as a challenge, it also wants a constructive relationship, not least because of big global issues like climate change and pandemic prevention. But the news of a possible spy here will raise questions over that approach from some in Westminster who say UK policy on Beijing has been too soft for too long. Relations have cooled since David Cameron rolled out the red carpet for Xi Jinping in 2015. But it was just two weeks ago that Foreign Secretary James Cleverly visited China, the first trip by such a senior UK figure in five years. Rishi Sunak, has, uh, when he was running for Prime Minister, said that he thought China was a systemic threat, and I agreed with him, which means your policy is set around that. Since then, the policy has been completely watered down. The reality is that then weakens the responses of the security services. Flying back to the UK this evening, Rishi Sunak now finds himself under fire for foreign policy and facing suggestions of overseas interference close to home. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.